Hey guys, Road Rage Fusion here from Road Rage Studios, bringing you episode 28 of Road Rage Racetracks. This episode, El Diablo by Adam Law 2000. And, no, wait, Adam Law 1997. Sorry. Um, a couple of videos ago was SMM 2010. <coughs> um, so back to the map. Uh, this is a very, very smooth double wide. Uh, with pretty nice aesthetics, so it's just to the left there, um, can't quite see it now. There's actually a pelican flying pretty close to the ground, um, built pretty originally. Haven't seen anything like that before. That's just me. Um, I like how all of the track is supported, like, not all of it, but it gives the effect of, of being real, not being all phased objects. <clears throat> which, when I see that in tracks, I think it looks quite nice. Um, I think that the first person to ever do that was um, Stoyben, uh, a pretty popular forger. He forged in Halo 3 um, and has carried on in Reach. <coughs> so, as I said, it's a very smooth track, and the actual track is mainly composed of big bank turns, which I definitely like. I, I'm a very big fan of the bank turns in tracks. Uh, although most tracks have them these days. Um, I do like that water bit where you do drive in the water, it does look nice. Um, and the, there's, as I said, there's very nice aesthetics on this map, whether it be just the light and the glass combined, like we passed a few seconds ago. In, I think it must have been a cave, there was the lights, uh, blue lights, and it just looks really nice with the glass. Uh, you could just see the pelicans on my left there. The, he has put a lot of rocks in this map, which I think does look very good. And to the right, there's another aesthetic piece. I think it's meant to be I don't know, a spaceship, a small vessel. I'm not entirely sure. Um, with the gravity lifts coming out the back. The drop jumps, like that, I believe they're called. Um, don't quote me on that. The drop jumps, um, they do work in this map, but if you're not going quite the right speed, same with any jumps, they they can mess you up a bit. I mean, I landed on the actual track, not the shield door. So he's made his made an effort to try and help the bad the bad racers even in this. Um, so yeah, I I like. I think this is my favourite bit at the end here, uh, where where you go through a small cave. It's not so much cave, just an arch. And back to the start here. Uh, also, um, while we're doing this third lap, uh, I've introduced, uh, it's starting in this video, um, a grading system at the end. I talked about it in the update video. Um, and uh, I'm giving points out of 10 for originality. Aesthetics, smoothness, and fun for the track, for how fun it is. Um, all out of ten, and then giving it a giving it a score on five gold stars. I think usually most tracks that we review are going to be four stars, um, but that can change. Okay, so we have the ratings coming up just here. Okay, so for originality, I give it an eight out of ten. It the aesthetics. Um, no, the originality is pretty good. I like uh, how he's just designed some of the track. Aesthetics, very nice. Um, pelican and stuff. Smoothness, 9 out of 10 because it's pretty smooth. And then fun, I I think I'm happy with the score that I gave it because a lot of tracks are the same these days, so it's good to make a difference. Okay, so now for two videos you may have missed. Last one, last video was... DI Hybrid by Forger, I Forger and Zombies, and two videos ago was Aurora Oceanis by SMM2010. Both very good smooth racetracks. I think you should go check both out. Thanks, guys.